Welcome to Inside Science TV. The Northern Lights have fascinated onlookers since Galileo coined the term Aurora Borealis. Now, using high-resolution satellite imagery, scientists at the Space Science Lab at the University of California at Berkeley have uncovered new details about how the Northern Lights move across the sky. The motion of the aurora is really a special kind of wave. It's known as the Alfane wave. And an Alfane wave is an electromagnetic wave, just like a wave that you use in your cell phones or TV signals, etc. When electrically charged particles from the sun enter Earth's atmosphere, they slam into oxygen and nitrogen atoms, creating brilliant shades of green, red, blue, and purple light. Curtains of gorgeous, ethereal light dancing across the nighttime sky. Viewing the aurora borealis in North America is usually reserved for Alaskans and Canadians. But the sun's 11-year solar cycle reaches its peak in 2013, meaning it could be possible to view the northern lights in more southern locales. Typically in the contiguous United States, you cannot see the aurora. But as we go towards solar maximum, the probability of seeing bright aurora over states such as Minnesota, for instance, increases. Space science bringing auroras into focus. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. Two new science stories every week. Powered by the American Institute of Physics.